Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Eric for Game Mode Retro. And this is Bill with Retro Comparisons. And you are tuning in to the special Halloween edition episode number 12 of GMR vs. RC. And where are we playing, Bill? We are playing Super Castlevania 4. Which is a game that is super hard. Uh, I'm not that great <laughs> at, neither is Bill. But nope. we wanted to do something fun uh, that was Halloween related, so we figured let's do the Castlevania series. And this is, we're just talking about it, is just a great game and holds up to this day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this came out in, I believe, 91, and beginning of the system's lifespan. It looks great now, almost 30 years later. Yep, it really does. So we're at the uh, start screen. I put my name in, and Bill put his in. We're going to get started, so we're going to hit start now. Okay, and that cutscene, count me down. All right, three, two, one, start. All right, so the way this is going to work, since we're pro both probably going to die pretty quickly. Yep, probably. <laughs> is maybe after the first continue, um, after the second continue, we can uh, see who has the highest score. Unless we can somehow beat the first level boss. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. This is definitely a lot smoother. Yeah, this is a lot smoother than the NES games. Yeah, and it looks great, sounds great, great uh, great soundtrack. I, so, did you play this a lot growing up? or, or This I... one I didn't. I uh, only played recently. Um, I, I've played... Well, I didn't play any of the Castlevanias as a kid. So I had the Genesis, I didn't have an NES or SNES. And I, I did play the Genesis one later on in life, but not when I was younger. Right. Yeah, uh, same thing with uh, on my side. I did not play Castlevania 1 when I was younger. I was afraid of it. I did not play it. My brother and sister did, so I watched them a lot. I beat it as I got older and played it as I got older, but definitely afraid of the game when I was younger. Yeah, it's a scary game. When I mean, when the first one came out, you would have been like, like two or three years old, probably. Right. So I just remember the definitely. soundtrack being scary and just like everything, you know, that kind of stuff. I love so. the soundtrack and the whole series. Um, I've never been a big fan of Simon's Quest. I know that gets crapped on a lot anyways, but yep. it's not really that bad of a game. This is, it's not really for me. Yeah, I agree. I know that, you know, it, it's kind of a different feel uh, than the first one. I think people, again, we talked about this in our recent videos with second, um, you know, second version. Stalmers. Yes, exactly. They sometimes lose. You can either, it's, it's a win, win, it's a hit or miss. You can yeah, win definitely. Some, I mean, Sometimes they improve. A lot of times I feel like they improve, especially in like the 16-bit era, era where it got better than the first game. Just took everything great the first and made it even better. Right. But in the NES era, it was more like like uh, Mario 2, Zelda 2, Castlevania 2. All those are very different than uh, what they were in the, in the original games. Right. And I, I am I am using my original SNES controller. For this, yeah, same here. It's, you you got to play with the originals. It just yep. doesn't feel the same otherwise. 100, percent and I feel like you know, using the SNES Classic a lot, the the control that they included obviously looks the same, but it's not. It's just really not the same. Yeah, never the same. All right. I'm actually making some good progress here. So am I. I'm at the first big jump here with the spinny thing here. So I'm going to try to go back and forth and get some momentum. Now, is there an audio cue for the uh, invincibility screen? Um, oh, man. I, I got some momentum going, but do you let go of the button as you jump? And, or do you hold uh, on to it? I believe it? so. The, the part where you swing? Yes. Like, yeah, I believe I do. I'll have to let you know next time I get to it. Right, I'm gonna go. I'll get to it again. I can do a practice one coming up here. So. Oh crap! <laughs> I'm definitely better than I was uh, a few years ago at this playing it more, more you know, regularly, I guess. Yeah. Well, you played this also for your uh, trailer, right? I did, but I didn't play very long. I needed a lot of footage, so it wasn't for, for a yeah. long time. But... What's your current score at right now? I have 8,800. What I'm do you have? 6,100. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> I what? need some meat. So I believe it's actually technically roast beef. I, I think... it's like drumsticks. I think, yeah, what does the um, manual say? Wasn't it, like, something like that? I can't remember, but I know in, like, 
Castlevania 64, which I haven't really played my own, but I've watched videos when you get the meats roast beef. That's right. All right I'm going to try something here. No, you got to hold, so you have to hold the button, but when I go left and right, I feel like it doesn't really give me a lot of momentum. Maybe it's just my, my head. It might be in your head, I'm not sure. I've seen people do speedruns, they like never use the stopwatch, but I really like it. Oh, it died thing. again. This is becoming my nemesis, this part right here. That's a Medusa head, so those are always fun. <laughs> God. I'm surprised I didn't get me knocked back there. Oh no, I picked up the knife. I'm actually making really good progress. And I know the second I say that, I'll probably die now, but... Oh, this thing's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, oh, come on. What? <laughs> that was a cheap death. Oh. And these games are they're so much fun, but they're so hard. Yeah, literally. That's what makes them fun, you know? They wouldn't be fun if... I mean, they would still be fun if they weren't hard, but... I would like it to be a little less hard. <laughs> well, this is not nearly as hard as the third game. That game is brutal. That's true. But you have to play these over and over again to know where everything is. Like, the part I just died at is such a cheap death, but you know, hopefully I won't do it again. I'm, I was going to say that, you know, you know to avoid it next time, but I'll probably still die. Yeah, I'm there pretty close to dying again. Welcome to die. <laughs> so we were saying uh, last night when we did the uh, other episode how, yeah. you know, if you win this, it's going to be... Oh god, I just died again. It's gonna be uh, six to six, which would be appropriate for Halloween, but. Yeah, when we're six, it's the mark of the beast. That's right. I don't know how this one's gonna go. I think we're both doing poorly. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to get some momentum going here in these jumps here. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if I can make the one that matters the most coming up here in a few minutes. So this is probably gonna come down to whoever has the most points oh, in their died second. again! <laughs> in their second continue? Or after your first continue, I should say. Yeah, have you continued yet? Think... No, but I'm. Well, I have two lives left still. What do you have for lives? I got one. I'm on one, but I think it means I have two, right? I think so. At least it's right. still a fun game. It's definitely good to do for Halloween, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're going to play a classic for uh, Halloween, you got to do something like Castlevania. You yeah. do that, or like Splatter House, or. God, I can't get past this section. So, dude, I can get past uh, like the beginning part of the game, so you should feel pretty good about yourself right now. <laughs> There's no winners in this, just losers. Welcome to die. Okay, get past this section. I have to say though, the SNES controller again, you us being, you know, Sega fanboys, we didn't really get a lot of uh, SNES time growing up and uh, mm -hmm. just using the controller really is a pretty awesome controller. It is great. I, I think we've been conditioned to it because basically this layout is what they used for everything going forward with like the PlayStation and right. Xbox. All right. I'm starting to learn what to do here and to avoid sudden death. Oh, I can't. I died again at the same spot. I'm at a boss. First uh, the boss here. You suck at this game, man. Right, Talking to myself, not you. Let's say, how do you see my screen right now? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. All right, just beat the first level boss. Well, if this was, game wasn't fun, I'd say to end the video right here, but... Let's keep going. <sighs> I'm at 12,300. Actually, no, now it's more because I beat the level. 13,480. What do you have? I'm at 12,000, but... I can't get past this part, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> we got the swinging part. I'm getting back to that point right now. I see. Yeah, I terrible. didn't play much of this game in the past, so this is going to be like a completely new experience. I don't know what enemies to expect and uh, what I'm up against right now in level 2 here. I'm terrified to find out. Well, it is Halloween, so maybe you should be scared. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what's happening? I'm, like, stuck. Come 
god. <laughs> get, get destroyed. I should do this every Halloween. I don't know why I haven't played Castlevania past Halloween. Alright, I made the first big jump. Now let's try to do the second big jump. Right, nope. So you gotta get Death. Going. <sighs> so I'm gonna continue, Bill. What are we doing now? Uh, where are we at for time? We're about 11 minutes. Why don't you keep going to see where you end up? I only say it because this game is so much fun. Yeah, you're so much better than I am at it, and you want to brag. I don't know about that. But one. I have a feeling for our next week's episode, it's going to be kind of interesting. Or yeah, not. I was about to say that. When we're, well, interesting by that, you mean you're going to destroy me. Kind of like you're doing right now. I feel like we're going tit for tat on that, which is good. Yeah. So, do you want to say what next week's episode's going to be? I think we're going to go towards uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. We'll do it on the Dreamcast. Yeah, so Tony Hawk series is probably one of the games I'm worst at of any game series. <laughs> I don't know why there's some like mental block where I just cannot figure that game out. Well, I just feel like I got it the day that it released and it's been playing it ever since and it's the same, pretty much every single release is the same gameplay and whatnot, so. Yeah. Oh, I just made a really stupid death. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. Dude, are you kidding me? I can't make it past the jump. That's embarrassing. So what's your favorite Tony Hawk game? I'm sure we'll get more into that next time. But. Um, I think for me, the nostalgia would be like N64, the first one. Um, but I think Part 2 is probably my favorite of the of the franchise. Yeah. Great game. What do you think of the uh, the remake? I like it a lot, actually. Um, I think you're plugging my video that I, uh, I am. have up. So I did an, um, a PS4... Um, review of Tony Hawk 1 and 2 Remastered a few weeks back, and I'm at like 2,000 views on that now. Wow. Some That's good awesome. feedback. I'm pretty happy with that video. Nice. Um, but yeah, so I got that. I, I like it a lot. I it was really well done. A um, couple of small little, like, you know, things I didn't like very much, but overall really good. It's funny, because I don't like those games at all, but I love to review of it. Like, yep. It's fun to watch, but for me, not fun to play, because I'm so bad. <laughs> right. And that goes back to, because I, I played the first one in the 64 at a friend's house, and I didn't get it then, and I still can't get it down now. Not that I've tried much, but I'm, I'm well, sure when we play next week that you're just going to absolutely wreck me. And it's hard, because like, you're like, give, give me some tips. I'm like, I don't really know how to give you tips. It's just like, you know, you got to kind of know the feel of it and all that stuff. It's hard. It's a tough game. It's like, it's like asking Pavarotti, how do I sing like you? Right. <laughs> That's a good analogy, Bill. This game is cool, man. Oh, it's so uh, cool. <laughs> oh, I think I'm finally going to make it. I know it's like cool when job. you're getting destroyed, but... I think I'm finally going to make it, unless I screw it up. I got it. I finally made the big nice. jump. All right. What do you have for lives? GD. Um, I got four lives left, but I'm only at 5,000, so... Yeah. At least I can show some of my not-sucking skills. I'm waiting for you to get to the Medusa part. That part really wrecked me. You wrecked me, baby. I was thinking of that. Yeah, oh, I'm a drummer, right. not a singer, so sorry, people. <laughs> You're a lover, not a fighter. That too. I have some experience with the Medusas recently, because um, I did buy the Bloodstain game, Curse of the Moon, and there's a new oh, one yeah. too. And... Uh, it's very similar to this franchise, and um, if you can play that game, beat it. You can play this game and beat it. You know. Is it just as hard as the old Castlevania games, or is it more? I'd say it's probably a little bit easier, but I still think it's pretty hard. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of Castlevania purists would say it's nowhere near as hard, but. Well, I mean, I've seen people do speed runs of like Castlevania Three, which I think is just insanely difficult, and they like do it in 20 minutes. Right. And, uh, oh, I forgot about like, these things. Yeah. I really wish there was some meat around here. I'm sure I missed some somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to be dying in a second here, I think. Oh, meat. Oh, thank God. <laughs> they heard me. I, uh, I know we're only doing, like, death. probably 20 minutes on this video, but, like, I might just keep playing this after. Celebrate Halloween that way. Yeah, I mean, get some candy, and uh, it's really a Halloween night, you know? Yeah. Thank you. 
Why do I keep having a knife at these boss fights? <laughs> it's better than that. It's like, um... I'm dead. It's like, what you call it, uh, Streets of Rage. The guys bringing the gun, the knives everywhere. Yeah. I really want to beat the second level boss here. Are you, uh, at the Medusas yet? I'm not. I, I might make it there. These horse heads are driving me crazy now. Oh, the horse heads suck. Ah! Uh, get out of my house. Really oh, love yes. to have a sub weapon here. Oh, and I just. <laughs> just destroy my chances of having one, I think. Oh, boy. I feel like I'm starting to get competitive, but if I... Uh, yeah, we should have played this beforehand, then we could have both been better than we are. It's still a fun game, though, huh? Oh, yeah. I should have played this game sooner, like... I really wanted to get through the first three. Which I, I never beat the third one. Right. I, I do want... I was actually playing that one right before I started my channel. I was like, well, I don't have... I can't spend hours of my life trying to beat Castlevania 3 when I need to do videos for my channel. <laughs> so I could spend the next four years trying to beat that game. Damn, Medusa heads. Yeah, they're the worst. Don't want oh. that knife. I need some meat. Please. Here's some right here, yes. What's this guy? Oh, yes. What are those guys after the uh, Medusa heads? I don't know what those things oh, are. Oh man, I just fell for the. They're annoying. I forgot right about there. that trap door. I remember that trap door. Yeah, the <laughs> trap doors are terrible. I remember that. I Very forgot about evil it. design in this game. Alright, I'm back at the second level boss. Ah! Stupid Medusa head. Alright, I just beat him. Wow, having a Did cross you? is very nice to have. Oh, was that not even the, the boss? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is the random dude. Really shouldn't have picked up that axe there. Medusa heads are driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. I made it through the first part, like, unscathed, and then I uh, had to go back as I fell in that trap door. The yeah, knockback in these games is... <laughs> it is rough. Unbearable. It is, it is definitely rough. This is fun though. I'm turning now that I'm actually doing something and progressing, it's actually fun. Yeah, maybe when we're done this video, we can just continue on playing all night. All right. I'm afraid to get that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what happened? Well, I'm done. I just died. Did and you? I have to start the whole second level over again. All right. Well, I'm trying to get to the boss here. I feel like that might be good. Let's see if I can make it there. Oh, yeah, done with that. Death. I guess we should call it a, a day. Well, I just died. So. so I'm not completely dead. Oh, died again. <laughs> How many lives do you have left? Let's, oh, I got, I got, I'm on my last one. Let's just I guess, yeah, finish let's it Yeah, keep out. going until that. So you either beat it or die. I'm a bonehead. It's oh, in a game like this where you lose, away. like, your. When you die and you lose your power ups, you really get screwed. Sometimes. Yeah. It's incentive to not suck. Well, I suck again. There we go. That's it. So. <laughs> All right. Well. But that was a lot of fun, and um, that was great. I think I might continue playing on in a little bit here. Yeah, same here. Get but, some uh, uh, candy for Halloween, and uh, just keep playing Castlevania Four all night. Yeah, man. Another plug to your uh, your video you put up last night. Uh, I'm sorry, a few days ago. Yeah, I'm um, losing track of time too. <laughs> I know it's crazy, right? But a few days ago, you put up the uh, Genesis Top Ten that we did. Yeah, it was so much fun to do. We'll have to do the uh, the 64 version of that soon. Yeah, definitely getting some great feedback, you know, from some of your viewers, and got some viewers over to my channel as well because of that. So check that video out, and uh, you know you can find Bill over at Retro Comparisons on YouTube. And you can find my videos over at Game Mode Retro on YouTube. And I hope you guys are still liking the GMR versus RC series. So with that win today, Bill, that puts you at 7. 7 to 5, but as we talked about, it's going to be 7 to 6. Yes, for uh, Tony <laughs> Hawk's no Pro Skating way I'm winning Tony Hawk. No way. Well, that'll be great. But uh, thank you guys for checking us out. We appreciate it. 
And uh, we'll see you next week, uh, Friday, for another release of GMR vs. RC. So this has been Eric for Game Mode Retro. And Bill with Retro Comparisons. Take it easy. Have a great night.